it's amazing to see what's here. So you see the whole new building that you're around? Upstairs, you got the whole first wave of entrepreneurs who have actually built applications on top of Watson, showcasing what they have. Mm. And outside of this building, we've now announced we have clients in over 20 countries around the world, uh, innovation centers and client centers coming up in different places. So that nine months has been pretty dramatic. So building on top of Watson, what, what does that mean? When, when people work with Watson, do they get their own little baby Watson? Do they work with Watson remotely? Are they talking to people at IBM to feed problems to Watson, what's the process like? Yeah, so what was amazing is the very first Watson system was a system, right? It's a big system about the size of a master bedroom, right. right? And so as we wanted to help open that up to the industry, right, move to Silicon Alley right here where you've got innovators and investors and other people trying to create this new era of computing, we had to put it in the cloud. Mm. We had to make it so that everyone can have their own system, right? The, these systems learn. What's really interesting about them is we want people to be able to train their systems differently. And so for that, there isn't one system anymore. Now it's in the cloud. If you train one, John will do what you want to do. It'll go your way, you can educate it, and other people can do the same. So all those entrepreneurs upstairs, they are all working on their own systems out of the cloud. So they're like Sherlock's to your Watson. <laughs> yeah, they, you know what's interesting is we knew that uh, there were too many great ideas about what these cognitive systems were going to do for us to think about. So, so if you go upstairs and look at some of the people who are even right here, you know, there's people looking at veterinary medicine, there's people looking at security, there's people looking at retail, uh, there's even one that was up there looking at people that have to give care for others in their families. So all these great ideas that they all went in very different directions, but they're all using cognitive capabilities. So how do people buy Watson? So Watson's a set of APIs now. Okay. Watson's now a set of APIs for developers to use. And so just this week, we're opening up the APIs for all developers to come in and, and, and test and start to use and learn how to, how to drive them. And then when people want to go and start to train their own, they move into their own space so they can get their own set of APIs that they can use as they as And they do you charge apps. for the, like how, I'm pricing, is it charged by the API, charged by query, yeah, it's, charged by? it's based by on moving, into the, moving it into the cloud now, I guess, right. to be charged by use. So depending okay. upon what you want to use, there's an amount that you can get started with okay. uh, to get going. And uh, Watson was carved out of IBM. Um, is there a sense that it's going to integrate and interact still with the rest of IBM, or is it really sort of its own division that has its own set of, of, of codes, bylines, yeah, laws? Yeah. You know, to, to really kickstart this next uh, era of computing, right, learning systems, systems that interact naturally, we wanted to make sure that it could integrate all the things that had to happen. So, you know, this, this facility here is just as much to help inspire everyone that's around as it is to be a working session with clients and partners on the problems that they're facing. So we wanted to bring together the technology, the research, the people who can do the right types of services and consulting all into one division. So we brought all of IBM together around this mission. You know, we've done this before, right? We did this when uh, we were looking at big areas like the mainframe or other, other game-changing technologies that started the programmatic era. We're doing it again in the cognitive era because we think this is going to be one of the biggest things IBM's ever done. Is Watson going to save IBM? I think Watson's going to be a major growth opportunity for IBM, right? If you look at the excitement and energy we have up here right now, I and mean, we're, again, nine months into this with clients in 20 countries, with the first entrepreneurs starting and thousands more who have who have applied to be working on this. Does everyone get WYSIBANG graphic screens in their offices when they when they sort of get the Watson API as well? Is, this that, is, is that part of the show? It's pretty much part for the course right oh, now, right, right? This right. is how it goes. This is the new future. But I think when you're here and you get to see, you've been into the innovation yeah. center, you've been, this is now trying to help people think differently. You know, right. there's a reason we're in Silicon Alley, right? We yeah. could have been in lots of other places, right, as a global company, but we said, look, this has got to be a break for a new type of computing. We need people to think differently.